Hey all, Rob here. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when future videos are out. And even though I did not plan to make a third video on the topic of public domain, the next decade, Superman, Batman, and yet I, as I was filming, I got new ideas to think about and to share with you. First, and I made this on a community post before I'm filming this, is that assuming the corporations don't pay off the politicians and change the laws to stop it from happening, because if they do, if it does get extended, and then in the future they will do that again, so basically the public never gets it. So let us just assume the public domain does get these characters. Which again, I'm thinking they'll probably do something legally to corporations to try and prevent it. Or to make it so tough that people just really can't use it. But let's just, and going with this video, let's just assume it does happen. And these characters do get into the public domain. It will finally happen legally for you the fans that you could have a universe of Marvel and DC characters together which are free to use by you or anyone to make your universe of comic book characters you would have Superman Batman Wonder Woman Captain America, Bucky, Namor the Submariner, and the original Human Torch, plus the Golden Age Green Lantern, the Golden Age Flash, and more characters from the Golden Age. But just think about all those heavy hitters I just mentioned. Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. Golden Age Green Lantern, Golden Age Flash, Captain America, Bucky, Namor the Submariner, and the Android Human Torch. That right there, those nine characters, that's a universe to tell hundreds of stories on. That right there in itself is a powerful universe. Even if you don't get to the 1960s heroes, those characters I just mentioned, plus more. There's definitely more in the Golden Age. You'd have to look it up. But just like just having the foundation of just those nine characters or more, that is a powerful statement to have. And you don't have to pay a soulless corporation like DC or Marvel any money to use it. And you can make fan films, which would probably be really something, or your own animation. I mean, that's a solid foundation for a comic universe of heavy hitters. Plus, you could add your own characters into it as creators. So what happens is, let's say you have your own characters, right? Your own originals. You fill up the universe, you have Batman, you have Superman, you have Captain America, and then you have your own characters. So they get to play off the established characters, and it really helps build your world to know that, okay, you have a new character, and then you put Batman in it, and so he meets Batman. And the public who knows Batman sees your character, it kind of gets that rub of appeal that if a character likes Batman, then maybe they like your character. You know, it, it kind of gets that shine to spotlight your own creations. You could use the past characters to help sell books, but also to help promote your own characters who are superheroes. And legally, I'm talking about, so it's not, it's not like some fan art that you can't sell. I think that's something really powerful to play off of, is using the heavy hitters like Captain America, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and your own stuff. 
and you get to play around and make your own universe. And especially, I'm not talking about like the guys like John Byrne and stuff, Frank Miller, they're old. I'm talking like the young talent. You know, the people who are the next generation, 10 years younger than us. What happens when they mature, especially like the next generation, John Byrne, Jim Lee, Frank Miller, you know, like really good artists and really talented writers, and they get together and say, hey, let's build our own universe with Superman, Batman, Captain America, and let's just build up a universe. And so you'd have some really talented creators, some really good artists. Again, I'm saying like the next generation of what guys like Todd McFarlane, Jim Lee meant to us in the 90s or John Byrne in the 80s. You know, that next generation who are that good making their own comic universe with the heroes I just mentioned. I think that's a really uplifting thought. And you don't have to pay a soulless corporation like DC or Marvel to use it. And you could legally have it. You know, I think that's a nice thought. I mean, what do you think? Is that a bad idea? I think it's a wonderful idea, to be honest. To just have that solid foundation. And again, like I said, this will be the legal way, ironically, of having Marvel and DC heroes together. That fans could create their own universe in toys, selling art prints, selling posters, selling comic books in your own world. Now, what you'd probably have to do, again, just my thoughts, make your own corporation. Legally, there's ways you can make your own one-man or sole ownership corporation. It doesn't cost too much because you want to protect yourself. So if something ever happens, you're legally protected because it's the corporation. It's not you. You also would probably want to name your universe so you have a name where all these characters are living in. So you definitely would want to do that. You'd want to name your universe. And again, there's probably legal lawyer fees and stuff you have to look into just to be safe. And you could sell stuff, art prints, t-shirts. You could fill up your own characters in this universe, tell your own stories, especially to really talented artists and writers and the younger generation. This is a golden age opportunity. And think about it, we don't know where crowdfunding will be in the next decade. Will it be easier to do or tougher? Will it still be around? But you could crowdfund your projects. Now let's say you get the uh, people like the Comicsgate, which I do support, like the Ripperverse or Ethan Van Skyver. If these characters hit public domain, they could use Batman with Cyberfrog legally. They could use Isom, if I said the name right, and Superman legally. In other words, they could put those characters in their universe and sell it. I'm sure one of the first would be Eric Lawson to add these characters in his universe. Todd McFarlane could <laughs> legally put Batman in his universe with Spawn free to use in the next decade. So it is something, you know? And again, whoever does this, comic creators of the next generation, and when it happens is you have to be smart, you have to do it legally, and you have to make sure you get the right versions and legally fit the definition of what you can do and what you can't. But there's a lot of power in the visuals alone to sell this stuff, I think. And uh, that's how I view it, you know. There's definite... It can be a really wonderful thing for fans, for the community, if it could happen. And uh, that's just a wait and see, because we don't know. Anyway, I just want to put these ideas out there. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Hit the notification bell. 
and subscribe if you haven't so you know when future videos are out. Stay safe, my friends, and I'll talk to you later.